Hello and welcome to this brief video on a new feature of 4080C called Adaptive Learning Web Application Firewall, also known as ALWAF. My name is Janar Garcia, Technical Marketing Engineer at Fortinet. In this video, we'll give you a quick overview on how to set up the Adaptive Learning WAF in 4080C. The Adaptive Learning Engine in 4080C provides insights for WAF policy configuration by analyzing data sets generated from incoming traffic. It uses statistics and data from client and server traffic to continuously learn, analyze, and offer recommendations for WAF policy to protect applications. As an ideal complement to the 4080C solution, which provides load balancing, optimization, and acceleration traffic, the Adaptive Learning WAF also enhances security. Recommendations from the Adaptive Learning WAF can be accepted, ignored, or deleted. In the Adaptive Learning WAF feature, there's two ways to license. You can either install a new set of 4080C, uh, which is 7.6.0, which gives you a 30-day free trial. The second option is that when you deploy a WAF signature license, or you can also use a bundle license, which is required for the adaptive learning to work. Now let's start with the virtual server configuration here. And as you can see, we have VS, HTTP as a virtual server configuration. And we need decompression here to be configured because in order to parse XML and JSON data, we have to enable that functionality to decompress. So we have decompress01. And as you can see here in the profile itself, you have URI configuration as well as the content type. Let's just validate to make sure that the decompression is configured and bound to the virtual server itself. So one, one option you could do is you can go to general make sure that the resource profile is configured based on the decompression profile that we just generated. Now we have to go to the WAC profile and make sure we have a profile bound to the virtual server. In this case, we're going to be using test adaptive learning and we can either create a new one as well. And to create one, you just have to put the name, but you make sure you bound it to the virtual server. In this case, we're just going to use the test AL and we can edit the test AL. As you can see, there is no predefined recommendations. Uh, and we're going to use some of our demos to basically define those recommendations. In the virtual server, what we have to do now is basically go and configure some of the options here where we have security test AL within the WAF profile. So this is how you bound it so that any request coming in from that virtual server is basically monitored. Now let's work on the adaptive learning profile. In this configuration, you can either create a new one, but in this case, we have already a pre-configured, which is called adaptive learning fastest. As you can see here, they have definitions, which is the name, the sampling rate, the false positive threshold, the learning. The learning, we're just going to use one minute so that the learning process is very quick. And the action, you can either deny, alert, block, silent deny, or capture. And in this case, we have a URL list that we have defined. Now let's work on the XML detection demo. The way to trigger an XML detection demo is we use a curl script, as you can see on my desktop. I've already prepared to trigger uh, that request to the server. But before we go in, I want to go into Web Application Firewall under Adaptive Learning View to show you that the analysis uh, does not have any traffic. Uh, and so I'm going to trigger it, uh, the curl script. It's successful. And so let's wait and go back to the Analysis tab. And as you can see, there is a traffic that came in, which is it came in from vs-http and we have bot underscore test.html. So let's wait for one minute because that's what we configured for the learning time. And so we do a refresh. And then finally, we got the recommendations. In here, we have an option to accept, ignore, or delete. And basically the request or the recommendation is that to set XML protection. Now let's work on the uh, JSON detection. Uh, it's very similar to the uh, first one, but in this case, we're going to use again a curl script that I configured and created. And so I triggered the curl script. And if you go into the analysis tab, uh, you can see it generated an analysis of the traffic that came in. And so we have two total statistics recommendations. This is the first one, the XML uh, validation. But if I refresh it after one minute, uh, JSON validation came up uh, again, came from test AL. 
and uh, VS, it's VS-HTTP. The recommendation says that the JSON protection limit has to be enabled. And so in this case, we're going to accept uh, the two, the JSON validation, the XML validation, uh, based on the recommended uh, protection that's needed. I accepted the JSON validation as well. And now let's go into the test AL, which basically where the recommendations were bound. And in this case, I'm going to enable XML validation to view from my column configuration. And as you can see, the generated uh, adaptive learning uh, policies. Now let's work on the bot detection demo. In this demo, we're going to clear some data and analytics by using the delete option here. As you can see, it's cleared. In this demo, we're going to use a curl script once again, but this time we're going to trigger it multiple times to act like it's a bot. So as you can see, I've uh, initiated and triggered the curl script multiple times. And in this case, we go back to the ana analysis tab. As you can see, we have some uh, applications here. And so we'll wait for one minute again. And we have a bot detection a recommendation here. And as you can see, because I triggered it multiple times, it says that it's recommended to enable bot detection. It triggered a request rate of four per second. Now let's work on the uh, web attack signature demo. In this case, um, we're going to use, again, a curl script. This time, I'm going to trigger it multiple times. Hopefully, we can get multiple uh, recommendations from the uh, adaptive learning uh, solution. So I'm going to refresh from the recommendations uh, tab. And then we got actually two, attack signature and a bot detection. So let's look at the attack signature. It's basically, it is recommended to enable it, a web attack protection, which is good. And then in this time, we're going to accept it. And then let's look at another one, which is a bot detection. And the bot detection is basically, because I've refreshed it uh, multiple times, I refreshed the script multiple times, it triggered a bot detection as well. And as you can see, all these things are now configured within my uh, adaptive uh, uh, WAF profile configuration under test AL. As you can see, we have one in web attack, we have JSON validation, XML validation, and then bot protection uh, has been bound with a recommendation. All right, that concludes my 4080C Adaptive Learning Web Application Firewall Demo. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and see you next time. Thank you.